When you first walk into a shop and are immediately approached by a staff member, it can be annoying. You aren't 100% sure what you're looking for. By the same token, have you ever been in a shop and been unable to find a staff member when you're ready to buy? It's a tricky balance to strike, but when you get it right, you'll be one step ahead of all the other exhibitors. First of all, you need to bear in mind that different people seek information about products in different ways. Not every visitor is created equal, and so they shouldn't be treated the same. There are three main types of exhibition visitors to consider. The tire kicker, the interested browser, and the efficient buyer. Effective exhibitors are able to quickly determine what type of buyer a person is and triage them to maximise returns from the show. First, the tyre kicker. These are the people who are generally really nice to speak to, yet have a very low propensity to purchase your products. These are generally people by themselves who meander by your stand, pick up a brochure or two, and then when you walk over to say hello, they'll start the conversation asking a generic question like, so what is it you do? You don't want to be rude and cut the conversation short, but at the same time, for every minute you speak to them, there's other prospects walking by your stand. So here's a rule to follow. Just because someone picks up a brochure doesn't mean they want to buy your products. Let people mingle around your stand, looking at brochures and your products. Watch them out of the corner of your eye. If their body language indicates they're intending on sticking around for a bit, so putting their bag down or reading your literature in detail, then approach them. If they pick up one of every brochure at the same time and appear to be scanning them, let them and don't approach. They'll approach you if they have serious purchase intent. If they're true tyre kickers, they'll leave on their own and allow you to focus on other prospects. Second, the interested buyers are usually found in groups of two or three. They'll come to your stand, have a chat and seem very interested. When a group of people comes to your stand and engages with you, this is a great opportunity to generate a prospect. However, the challenge is to determine who the leader of the group is. Having to deal with three people at the same time is difficult. When this happens, ask them a number of questions and see who speaks the most confidently about the answers. This person is generally the decision maker, or at least a strong advocate. Be polite to everyone in the group, but focus your attention on the alpha group member as it's likely them who will become a customer. Lastly, the efficient buyer. This is the gold standard exhibition visitor. It's usually a solo visitor who comes to your stand, makes eye contact and doesn't bother with literature. They ask a very specific, intelligent question. They are knowledgeable about the market you operate in and come ready to have a serious conversation. While these are the highest value visitors, they are also the most difficult to deal with. What you don't want to do on a stand is spend too long with someone. Remember that they're meeting dozens if not hundreds of people. You want to do your best to stand out, but also know that everyone else is trying that too. With these people, your best bet is to let them do most of the talking. Ask them as many questions as you can about their requirements. Don't mention your product benefits unless they specifically ask for it. If you do, it will turn into a generic sales pitch, which they'll have heard about a hundred of already that day. You want them to remember you positively, and all humans like speaking about themselves. If you let them do most of the talking, leave them with confidence that you understand their challenges, and mention briefly your product offerings. You'll have lined up the most qualified lead possible to follow up with after the show has finished.